First step is to put a straight edge on this piece of rough cut pine. Now that our board has a straight edge, we can put it against the table saw fence and start ripping off inch and a quarter pieces. Now I'm going to take the two inch by one and a quarter inch pieces that I made and I'm going to rip them down to one and a quarter by one and a quarter. Okay, time to make a dowel rod jig. I need an inch and three quarter hole on the inside, and then I need a one inch hole on the outside. One and three quarter inch is the diagonal of the square stock that's gonna be going into here. Anyway, let's bore some holes, and then see what we can do from there. Okay, time to cut this block in half, and see if we leave a bit of the bottom hole exposed for the next drill bit. So now we line up with my mark and readjust the camera. Let's do this. Okay, time to drill the one inch hole. Okay, so it would appear that after lining this block back up, the uh, two holes are centered pretty well. So the next step is, is to reattach these with some uh, three inch screws. So I gotta drill some holes in the corner and drill some holes down through here for the threads. Okay, so we have bored a large diameter hole for the head halfway through, then a smaller diameter for the threads the rest of the way through. Now I have to mark the bottom here by driving these in a little bit. So I think I'm just going to use a regular screwdriver just to poke some holes from these down into the bottom. Let's see if we've marked it properly. And yes, we have four little holes that I can guide with over here. Now I just need a tiny pilot hole so I can drive the uh, screws in. Okay, let's start driving things together. Let's see here, there's where that one was. Okay, now we line up the marks again. There we go. And... Okay, now we need to raise our blade up into this so that the blade, its uh, top is even with the exit hole. So let's go ahead and do this. So what I've done is I've pre-drilled a hole in the end of it, just big enough for the threads on this lag bolt. So now I'm going to thread this lag bolt in here using my drill. There we go. So that's in there, and the purpose of this is to give this something to grab onto while I push it through and to rotate it. So now it's time to do the next one. Let's make sure it's not too big to fit. Nope, it fits just fine. This is quite a messy process because all of the sawdust gets thrown straight back at me, so I just have to live with that. Anyway, let's have another go with this.
Okay, here we have my first test piece done, and though it is kind of rough, it's round and it's roughly an inch. As a matter of fact, I have my micrometer sitting here. Let's just see what it measures. It measures about 11 thousandths less than an inch, which I can live with. The way this setup works is uh, you have two different hole diameters. You have this diameter, which is the same as the diagonal of your square stock. And then you've got a hole in the back that is the diameter of the uh, rounded exit wood, which will be the diameter of your dowel rod. Now, the blade is, well, first of all, you put on your fence, you clamp a high board to it, and you clamp the top half of this to the fence because the bottom half is going to be cut by your blade. So what you do is you center the center of the circle over your blade and you just raise your blade up into it until the top of your blade is even with the bottom of the back hole. That way as you spin the wood the blade will cut it kind of like a pencil sharpener and it'll taper it and it'll come out the back. So there's the saw going there but if you feel inside the saw is even with the bottom of this hole.